I am writing a book. Today, I'm going to go do some research in an industrial era cotton mill. I'm writing a bi historical romance that takes place during World War One, and the main character works in a cotton mill. So today I'm going to Quarry Bank Mill, which is just outside of Manchester, to do some research. And of course it starts raining. We are in Manchester after all. So originally they would have had children cleaning under the machines. There was a little girl called Sophia Allen who worked in this mill, uh, this is in the 1800s, who she did go under here to clean all of this cotton and all of this cotton, it would have been dirty, it would have been very, very dangerous for her to be, to be breathing in. My characters or a couple of my characters actually work in a mill that would have been similar to this and one of my main goals for coming here today was to figure out what machine she would have been working on and to like see how it runs and I think I've decided that she's gonna be on the carding machine I think that seems like the most likely one so now we just need to learn how to do that <laughs> When Samuel Gregg, the mill owner, first built the mill, it was in the middle of nowhere. So he had to build everything that the workers would need. Cottages, shops, a church, gardens. It became its own little village filled with mill workers. And people still live in the houses today. Okay, but at least the views were nice. I am about to go on a tour of the apprentice house, which is where the children who worked in the mill lived. Metal on metal creates a spark. Spark with all the cotton fibers flying around, it can cause a massive fire. So it's much more convenient for Sam and Greg's workers to work barefoot. These children worked barefoot for 12 hours each day, six days a week. Maybe 10 years of their life being spent living in this house and working for Samuel Gray. It is now the next day and I'm still decompressing. <laughs> that was a lot of information, but all really good information. Like I said before, the main thing I wanted to figure out was what machine my main character worked on. I figured out it's gonna be the carding machine. That was the most likely machine that she would have worked on. So now I can, get more intimate with it. She did show me how it works, but I need to really know how it works. So I figured that out, but I also figured out that they have an archive at this particular mill. Now, my story doesn't take place at this mill, but they will have um, archival information from that same time period, which might help me in my research. So I will definitely be scheduling something with them and going back at some point. But overall, I would say it was a very, very successful trip. And I had fun. Like it was just a really fun, cool kind of place to go. I do want to document all of my little research trips. I want to go every single week someplace new so I can research and I do want to film it because I think it keeps me accountable. It makes me more likely to do it because I have a reason to do it and it's just really fun to take you guys along. I think it'd be really cool to look back on all of this once the book's actually written and is out. So stay tuned for that. Next week, I'm gonna be going to look at an old dance hall in Blackpool. Um, it's the dance hall that was featured on Strictly Come Dancing. You can go and you can do tours now. There is going to be a dance hall scene in the book. It's not gonna actually be at that particular ballroom, but it will be something similar. And I wanna go see what it's like. So I'm gonna be doing that this week. So stay tuned for that video. And thank you guys for joining me. <laughs>